welcome to Let's Talk Jonesboro. Today we have the new executive director of the Downtown Jonesboro Association, Lindsay Ford. Lindsay, welcome. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your new role and uh, what you see coming for Downtown Jonesboro. So I'm settling into, I guess, my second week as the executive director. And so far I've just been meeting everyone and really getting acclimated to the job. And I have some new exciting things planned for downtown Jonesboro as well as some of the same things that you've seen downtown Jonesboro that we want to keep intact. Uh, what do you, what attracted you to this job? What, what do you see that, that uh, you felt like, hey, I can really offer? Well, first of all, I love people, and so that's a huge part of this job is working with people and working with all the downtown business owners. And so I just, for me, I see so much potential downtown. And we have taken great strides in the past 10 years to come to get to where we are right now, but I can just see even so much more and um, so much more possibilities down here. You know, when I bring guests in from out of town, uh, we go in some of the different establishments and they uh, always point out some of the architecture, the woodwork in some of our buildings, and they say, man, if, if our city had this, it would, it would go crazy. And I'm talking about big cities in a lot of cases. And so, uh, do you know people who, who want to capitalize, who are, and, I mean, clearly we're capitalizing in a lot of cases on that, but has, has anyone talked to you uh, already about things like that? Um, definitely. I think that that's something that downtown has to offer that you can't really get anywhere else. Yes. And even on my second, though it's my second week on the job, I've had calls from people in even different states who are actually looking in their at our downtown to bring businesses in and they're just attracted to the buildings and the architect and what that brings. Very cool. Um, what, what concerns do you have about this job? What are, what, are, what are your priorities to address? Well, I would say my, my main priorities with this job are to, first of all, be the liaison for all the business owners downtown um, and listen to them and be their voice and then also to bring more people downtown um, especially a state students that's something that I think that we really need to um, work on and strive to get connect better with a state and get more students downtown when you look at uh, downtown Jonesboro and compared to other cities what what are our assets what what sets what makes us cool well, I think it's kind of just like you said, just the atmosphere downtown and the architecture of the buildings and the inside, they're just unique. Um, and it's just a very cool feel that you can't get anywhere else in Jonesboro. Why is the downtown important? I mean, why can't we just have a bunch of strip malls? Well, downtown is important because it's the history of our, like all the history that's there for our town and for Jonesboro. And it's not just like a strip mall or a mall coming in. It's actually, you know, the foundation that's been there from the beginning. And so I think that's really neat that people are still using that and making it their own now. Um, uh, the city is either enforced or the police department is either enforced <laughs> or is about to enforce uh, the, the parking tickets. They have started. They have started that. Yes. Is, and so this is something that business owners wanted and, and felt is important to get people spaced to park right in front of their storefronts. Yes, sir. But is it is it really that hard to get a parking space downtown? Well, I think it depends on what time of the day it is. And I think it's great that they're enforcing this now just so that we have the maximum opportunities for our customers coming downtown to be able to make it the most accessible and easy for them to enter the businesses. Do you have, is it too soon to, to, to think big? Have you thought about big, big ideas yet? Well, I do have a few big ideas, but all the logistics aren't particularly um, ironed out for them, so I hate to reveal anything too soon. You don't want to re big re no big reveals Not yet? Not too, I'd hate to reveal something too soon before everything gets approved. Um, 
Probably with the city and the mayor, so maybe you could put in a good word. I, I will definitely put in a good word, because the mayor loves downtown and he wants, to, wants it to be yes. the, the, the best downtown. But we've won awards, so our downtown is not failing by any measure. Absolutely not. We actually won more awards than any other town in Arkansas at our Main Street Arkansas um, award banquet last year. That's fabulous. And we're actually applying for more awards um, right now. They're due next week, and so I'm hoping to see an awesome turnout for our downtown business owners this year again. And you just had the uh, annual barbecue fest. Yes, sir. And I guess that was considered a success? It was. I thought it was a huge success. Um, I was there all day, and I really just, I was so happy to see that everyone was enjoying the barbecue fest, but they were also really enjoying the businesses that we have downtown, and they were in and out of our restaurants and um, in our stores, so I think it was just a good day all around for downtown. That is good. Tell us a little bit about you. Now, uh, Lindsay, what's your, what's your background? Are you a Jonesboro girl? Well, I'm actually from Rector, um, but it's not far from here. I've been living in Jonesboro for the past four years, and I... I am currently an A-State student, which is kind of unique for this job. But, that is very cool. Um, I graduate in December, so after that I will be full-time, but I'm in the office every second that I'm not in class, and so um, you can catch me at the office, but I feel like that I got this job just because they wanted like a younger, fresh perspective um, on what to bring downtown, and so I definitely have a lot of new ideas and I'm excited to share them with everyone. Well, if you're going to graduate in December, that's just a couple of months away, so it's too late for me to save you and say milk your college experience for an extra couple years. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> but uh, you're already in the working world, so it's too late anyway. We are way far past that. <laughs> <laughs> I won't even know what to do with myself in December. I'll get to sleep. You'll so. work, actually. <laughs> oh, I work all the time. I barely sleep whenever. Uh, I don't have any hours to sleep, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, do you have a staff? Where, tell us where your, your office is located. So our office is located in the United Way building. Um, I have- On Union? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and I have one person that works with me. Her name is Sarah Tanner. She is the events coordinator, and so she works part-time helping with all of our events and coordinating that with all the people. And let's make sure everyone understands exactly what, what services you provide. You serve peep, the business owners of downtown mostly. Is that primarily what you do? Yes, sir. Okay. And how, how, would, how would that play out? If I were somebody were downtown, and what would I call upon your... Uh, so I work with Main Street, Arkansas. So that means that if you were a business owner coming downtown, one thing that I could help you get assistance with would either be... Um, financial advice, Main Street Arkansas advice, um, helps with that and they also help with interior design and um, just the design with your building in general. Um, they can help you get facade grants so the outside can be updated and then like I said with the interior design on the inside so that your business can be looking as good as it possibly can. And grants and I guess lobbying whether it be uh, city or state or whatever mm. <laughs> you guys uh, try to try to just work as a as a speak as a united voice uh, for for all the downtown yes uh, definitely definitely okay. so good so then um, is there anything else we need to know about the downtown Jonesboro Association well we actually have a couple events coming up um, we have pumpkin palooza which is our stay alive after five event in October this month and then in November, we are having a Live After Five again. Um, it'll be the last month for a Live After Five this year. And it's going to be a holiday market. So it'll be tailored more towards Christmas presents that you can get and things like that since it's at the end of November. And a Live After Five happens on Huntington Avenue? Y yes. And it starts it. coincidentally at 5 p.m., right? Correct. Or 5.01 maybe. <laughs> okay. 5.01. <laughs> yeah, okay, after 5. Right. Yes, Very sir. nice. Very nice. Well, Lindsay, it's wonderful to have you. Lindsay Ford, Executive Director of the Downtown Jonesboro Association. Yes. Thank you for being our guest on Let's Talk Jonesboro. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you.